Hi, my name is Stefan. I'm a math professional. And today I'm going to be speaking on rules for constructing grouped frequency tables. Uh, one of my main rules when constructing the group frequency tables is to get rid of outliers. Now, outliers, uh, they're pieces of data that show up uh, not too often, if at all. All right, let's take, for instance, uh, the number of pancakes uh, customers are eating at a restaurant. Some people came in. Okay, you got a, one person ate two, another person ate three. Someone ate two again, another person ate four. Another person came in, ate one. Another person ate three, so on and so on. And then you have me, me being greedy. I would come in, I'll eat a big number like 55. Now, right off the bat, this number here, 55, is an outlier. I mean, how many times is someone going to come in and eat 55 pancakes? I mean, you know, for me, it's all the time. But you basically want to get rid of this number because it's going to basically throw you off. So get rid of outliers. Uh, the second thing you want to do is you want to keep a tally. Uh, keeping the tally. Tallying means uh, when constructing your number line, or your frequency table. People often eat two pancakes. I see uh, two here, one market, another two here, one market. When constructing this table, you want to have all your da data accurate. So you don't want to miss any twos. So whenever you see a two or all of the data, also three, three is going to come in often. See a three. Tally it, mark it, see another three, mark it, and so on and so on. You want to keep a tally. Uh, this way, all your numbers are accounted for and your data is accurate because when dealing with large data sets, it's real easy to uh, lose count and come up with wrong data for not keeping a tally. Tallies are real important. Usually, we go by groups of five. And that's my method and my rules for constructing group frequency tables.